And this is what the tank looks like with the decent shot of sun. Look at that, it's way too much light. <laughs> All three blues off of just the one power supply. I like that. All on one power supply. So I've got my nail polish on there. It's nice and dried up. I did put a clear coat. <laughs> there we go. I got the wires backwards on that one. This one. That one looks good. Let's see if I kept them straight on this one or not. No, I've got them backwards here. Look at that. It's way too much light. <laughs> but on the positive side, we are running off of free energy from the sun. That's not bad. I actually kind of like that. Well, let's live with it for a couple of days and see what happens. I could add some resistance in there on each one of those lines on the outside. Woo. I might put a potentiometer on there and see what that does for me. It's looking really good on the camera. <laughs> Up close though, in person. I don't have the lens on here, so let's put the lens And that's not what I'm seeing. There. I think the camera adjusted that for me. That's actually pretty close to what I'm seeing in real life. On the left hand side, I'm seeing a little whiter than what it looks like on the camera. Maybe I'll just leave that on for a couple of weeks and before I go playing with it too much. One really interesting point on this is I could have probably just used one power supply for all three of those lights. Like if somebody's looking to downsize, because we really only run the whites at like one or 5%. And each one of those power supplies is putting out, I think 80 watts. That's way too much, sucking way too much energy off the house. Now it's free, sitting pretty, I like it. Gotta clean that glass, man. Part of me is thinking, I need to prepare for those um, solar panels that are coming. Another part of me has always been wanting to stress test the Vipar Spectra's power supply. I want to stress it out. I want to put that thing to 100% and run all three lights, all three blues, off of just the one power supply. Is it going to put out the same amount of power that I'm uh, demanding of it right now? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm running this one lighter than I'm running this one because this one has all my sticks under it. This is like almost 100% softies except for a Monty I have mounted over here. On this side I have a lot of sticks as well so I probably want this side to be pretty powerful. So I don't know. We're just going to see where it all balances out and I think um, that's probably the beginning of how I'm going to end up adding resistance to, to some of these lights to, to make them um, dimmer than the others. Because when I do put the solar panels on, I am going to have to dim those because I'm going to try and order solar panels that will work in the winter time. <laughs> in the winter time when it's cloudy. Today it's cloudy. And look, the whites are not coming on um, because I kind of have, or when I put those panels up, period, I'm only running uh, 48 volts worth of panel, although we know we saw they go up to 80 plus volts. I need to pop one more panel on there uh, and then I'm going to have to dim it down. I'm going to run into some wiring, uh, some, some, some circuitry that I'm unfamiliar with. Let's get banging on this. I think what I want to do is I want to run all the blues right now on the power supply that's over here in this far left corner. Shut it down also. None of them line up. <laughs> the far right is the middle, the middle is the far left, and the far left is the far right. <laughs> oh, Spicy's a little complicated character. I powered those off, but I actually need to pull the plug because they probably have the tiniest amount of juice on them. I've done my splicing and dicing. I've got the one lead from this controller power supply, just one power supply, going straight up and then I split it three ways into each one of the blues that are up on top. So let's plug it in and turn it on. It's already plugged in, I just need to turn it on. 
boom. Okay, so they're on. I can already tell that that's not strong enough and it might not work actually <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Okay, channel one. Oh, I'm only at 53%. That one on the right hand side was only at 53%. We're turning this bad boy all the way up to 100. Whoops, I forgot you can go 100% the other way. All right, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of liking how this looks. Now I need to get power tool out. <laughs> Let's see what kind of power we have on. I like that. All on one power supply. Now we can see this is turned off. This is turned off, and the only power supply that's on is this one here on the left. And we can see that's the only one that's plugged in. So now I only have two things plugged in, and one of them is my doser, and the other one is this light here. And that, that plugs into this power supply. Nope, this power supply right here on the right hand side, I can feel it's warm. It's definitely not hot by any means. And now I can remove all these power supplies that were under here, just burning away, wasting energy, creating heat in the summertime. Yeah, we'll pull all that out and then I'll just be left with the one as a backup if something goes wrong with my solar. Flashing forward about one month. We have a pretty decent sunshine out there. There's a little bit of overcast, but that doesn't cause too much problems for the solar panels. And this is what the tank looks like with the decent shot of sun. Those whites are really shining on. We can see the bipar spectra over here on the right hand side. Whoa, where's my finger? <laughs> over here on the right side is quite a bit brighter because those are 10K. I do like the color to the eye better on these on the left. These ones on the right, and I'm looking through the camera and it's looking pretty darn close to the same as what I'm seeing with my eye. And that's because those panels are just <laughs> smacking the LED pretty hard. If I had to judge, I would say they're running at what the um, controller, the Vipar Spectra controller would put up to maybe 40%, 50%. So that's not bad at all. If I had the blues on there, then they'd also be up to about 40%, I imagine but I'm gonna do overkill with those. So on the blues, I was only able to eliminate one of the controllers and as well as uh, one of the power supplies. So right now I'm running off of two power supplies, um, one for each one of these controllers, but I've got all the whites disconnected and one blue, so that's four that are disconnected, two that are running, this one's running at, um, 80%. This one's running at 100%, I believe. Yeah, 100%. So the 80% is here, and each of these are getting 50. So we can see we're looking pretty good. Not too bad, not too shabby. Still gotta clean the glass. I cleaned it yesterday. I swear to you, I cleaned it yesterday. The coralline algae growth in this tank is just exploding. Just doing a little update. And I like having those, those extra little plugs there for if I need to do anything else down here. I was wondering why that ball kept getting bigger, and then it hit me.